All right, real quick, I'd like to help you guys identify genuine cinnabar. And since this is the first piece I've gotten, I wanted to show you how to do it. Now, do you see the tiny striations? Especially over here, just inside, do you see where it's carved out? Inside the relief, you can see tiny layers because they what cinnabar is, is lacquer apl applied in layers. And you can see those tiny lines, right? That's like, a, it's almost like a, a book is closed and you're looking at the pages. Do you see like just inside this crevice here, there's uh, quite a bit of uh, striping, you know, striations, uh, different layers visible. So yeah, that's one way to tell genuine cinnabar because lacquer is applied in layers and uh, little pieces like this would have taken a very long time to make because you have to uh, apply it, dry it. I mean, it could have taken months just to make this little egg and then have someone carve it. I mean, the carving would have taken, you know, however long carving takes, but months just to apply the cinnabar to this, uh, to this little egg shape. And there's another example. You can see a bit of striping inside there. And another thing to look for when it's uh, when it's not genuine cinnabar, uh, which I've got an example right here. I'm sorry if the microphone's not working as well as it typically does. I'm using a different camera uh, app that has a better focus. So if we look at this piece right here, there's actually a molding seam uh, mishap. You can see where this circle is uh, not joined to the other side of it. And there's a seam that runs down this. And they've done a pretty good job carving it and polishing it away. But also look at the bottom of this flower. So you can see the seam runs through this flower. And it was just a little off kilter because the center of the flower is divided right there. And then so is the bottom of this petal, and so is the top of this petal. So again, they've they've attempted to remove it, but this is actually just plastic around a little um around a little a uh, like copper or brass piece. And it's got a tiny little signature and stuff. You know, it was supposed to look pretty legitimate, especially with a snuff bottle. There's several hints um, that it's not vintage or that it is. But yeah, you can see uh. You can see remnants of a seam. And then up here, I'm sure that's some sort of casting fault or something, because that's actually where the seam runs, sort of, right through that flower and stuff. So this is just a little video on how to identify cinnabar. I mean, this is actually a nicely carved little piece, but the fact is it's either resin or some sort of plastic or something that they that they cast over this. And then there's a plastic dipper inside of it, so I mean, it's not, uh, I think the old ones typically would have been metal. But yeah, plastic obviously is a relatively modern thing to begin with, so so that's another hint. But yeah, that's, uh, that's just a little guide on how to identify cinnabar. I hope you could see the uh, little lines and striations in there. And it'll be the same with vases and stuff, and it may be even more evident. You know, because on a vase they may have done more layers than they would have on this little egg. So you might be able to see quite a bit more and some deeper relief. I'm kind of wondering, I've got two of those cinnabar eggs there. I'm kind of wondering if, uh, if we can't learn anything about that. Or anything more from the other one. Hold on one second, I gotta carefully remove this from its egg holder. <laughs> oh my goodness. So yeah, I imagine we can still see various lines and striations in this one. And you see what I'm talking about, right? I hope this is helping. I hope we can, you know, successfully identify just tons of different types of art and techniques and stuff. I hope we learn something new all the time. And you see the difference between this flower. I mean, quite obviously that entire thing is carved out. You know, that's not a... No seams running through that bad boy. Aren't these actually neat little things? So yeah, I got two little hand-carved cinnabar eggs. Sort of matching, sort of not.
And clearly they had an idea of what they were doing, but. I've never seen two Cinnabar eggs before, so I don't know. I don't know. Oh, this is Austin. I had talked to a lot of people about um, how to identify Cinnabar and stuff. And, you know, everybody's always got a question about it. So, so yeah, hopefully this helps. Uh, this is Austin of the Best I Can Afford Antiques channel. Like, share, subscribe, comment, do whatever you want. Love to hear from you. Love everybody. Have a nice day. I'm probably going to make one more video talking about uh, why I have the most expensive dozen eggs I've ever purchased in my life in front of me right now. Right? Probably a good idea.